Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you'll learn how to set up and install the Citrix agent introduced in Blue Prism version 7.1. By the end of this video, you'll be able to install the new lightweight Citrix agent onto the Citrix virtual desktop environment. As part of Blue Prism 7.1, we've introduced new capabilities that improve how Blue Prism users automate applications running on a Citrix desktop, including a new lightweight agent that can easily be installed on the Citrix servers and connects back to the digital worker. So a full installation of Blue Prism is no longer required on the Citrix virtual desktop environment. For full details, on how to install Blue Prism for use with Citrix, please see our online help. Previously, if users wanted to automate on a Citrix VDE, they'd need a full installation of Blue Prism on both the local machine and the Citrix VDE. With version 7.1, this is no longer the case. The Citrix VDE only requires the installation of the new lightweight Citrix agent. I'm now going to show you how to install this. Here you can see my local machine and the Citrix VDE. I've already downloaded the MSI to the Citrix desktop. Start by running the MSI. Click Get Started, accept the license agreement, then click on Next. Select Advanced Install and click Next. In the Advanced Install Options section, select the Citrix Agent tick box. Note that this will automatically deselect the Blue Prism option as this is not needed. Click Install. Once the installation completes, click Finish. Note that the AppMan server is added to the Citrix desktop. Double click to start the AppMan service. Once running, this will appear in the system tray. OK, now you're ready to start automating in Citrix. Thank you for watching this video, during which we've seen how to install the new lightweight Citrix agent onto the Citrix virtual desktop environment. If you want to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below or visit the Blue Prism community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.